it out, check it out. All you Mora fans, Mora Eldris fans. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm a little freaking out because I became a monster fan. Let me hold on a second. What is that? Paps Blue Ribbon Beer with Japanese on the side? What? That's American. American. Not American. American. I don't know what that... Korean, Japanese, Chinese, I don't know. Well, what's that got to do with Mora Knives? Well, I just happen to be drinking this and just seen it. Here we go. This is my EDC. I think this is called the Mora HQ or something. Flex. Real flexible blade. Short. Super grippy. Of course, the regular. Look at, I wore this so much on my belt and had this sticking down into my pocket here that um, the actual case has become sort of bent. Awesome. So this has been my EDC. Right here, every day, day in, day out, for months and months now. I'm not a bush crafter. I did an entire video that I'll put in the card up here, end card screens, you know where their little videos are. I'll put it in the link below. How I just don't get the whole bushcraft thing. The whole, you know, whittling with wood. I'm a fisherman. I charter fish. I take people fishing for a living. I always want a knife to cut rope, cut line, cut anything. It came in real handy the other day when, believe it or not, bottlenose dolphin got tangled in our lines. And I ended up having, that's a long story, but I had to end up cutting the fishing line like so fast, it was ridiculous. So I've had a more Eldris, and you'll see I've tried different things. I tried the neck knife thing. Nah. Well, I just get so used to doing this. It's kind of like the old gunslingers, right? It's like Clint Eastwood. favorite movie of all time the good the bad the ugly i got this badass eldris this thing is so ungodly sharp because i even put a whoop ass on it and i like it i like it just for popping line just fishing line you know and sometimes i'm feeling like i want to go lightweight so yeah i mean this is a little bigger of course I mean, come on. We're talking almost twice the size, right? This is one bad mamma jammer though for the price and just how tough and utility it is. And I'm big into utility. So I'm watching this video and I'll, I'll have to uh, give a shout out to the guy. I'm seeing him, how he's taking a sh uh, more Eldridge, Eldris sheath, right? And he's making a belt clip out of it. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I've tried it. I've tried it. And nothing really seemed to work. It's quite hot here in the lovely state of Florida right now. So I'm kind of heat, getting heated up. But let me show you what I did. I got my uh, big wide belt here. Let me show you what I did. And it took unbelievable amount of time to do this I could not believe it but this is a clip and it even says it right there off a sog knife a sog and what it had was two tabs sticking out and it was sort of a neck knife belt clip goofy goofy knife really kind of goofy I don't know why I ever bought it because I was in search of a small, but that's here nor there. So what I did is I took these, they had these little ears that went into sort of a Kydex kind of case. But it had a very nice belt clip. 
and right there right there there's a little hook that goes in like that so I'm thinking if I cut the two ears off drill a hole you can see a, a nut right there if I drill a hole through this drill a hole through the case clip it on there and I mean that thing ain't going nowhere right and I actually chop just a little tiny notch in the plastic what I'll be able to do is transform this into a belt clip for this because as I mentioned on this other guy's uh, comments on his web on his YouTube video about making his belt clip I said when the hell is Mora gonna get with the program so Mora if you see this video you know come on folks you put one of your famous little plastic belt clips like this integrated into this case you are going to have more of a winner everybody loves this knife right everybody loves it but here's your hang up folks this is your hang up yeah there's neck knife people out there that live in sweden or you know over in over in europe maybe but where do you sell a lot of your knives there's the question folks that's the question for you folks over in Mora. Where do you sell a lot of your knives? Well, Americans, we wear belts. At least fishermen, outdoorsmen wear belts. We want a belt clip. I would be so satisfied with that on this. I would be so satisfied. You still have your hole. You can still do the neck knife deal if you want to be Joe Cool. Okay, I tried it didn't work agitating I'm in the heat in the United States of America in Florida it's 110 degrees in the shade so come on I didn't feel like any more I wore this underneath my shirt to be kind of incognito you know it still became a little bit aggravating Mora you're really really messing up here folks and on top of this put just this little bump Put the little bump right there so we can pop it out just like you do with this. You go like that, you know, you put your hand there and you, you push it out of the case. Do you need me to come over there and redesign it for you? I, I, I will probably bet you money that you'll make more money. It turned out that way down in there, way down in there, I put a really, really flat bolt kind of hex head or not a hex head what was it a uh, Phillips head and it's totally not in the way I got lucky folks I got lucky I found that I had this laying around and with that little bend I drilled a hole but I don't know what the heck this this uh, belt clip is made out of it's made out of like freaking titanium or something I could not hardly drill the hole through it right there I could hardly, it broke bits. I mean, I went through 10 bits just to get the hole started. So I don't know what SOG makes this out of, but it is some kind of wicked super steel or something. I mean, it was breaking bits. <laughs> and I even had oil going on it too. So either way, fits right in there. I guess I'll push off with the back of this. And now I have what they call a winner. This is a winner. Okay. Because I could put it on my big, wide, big old black belt here. Slide her up. Put her through my, you see as fishermen, we always, I always wear a big heavy belt because when I'm on a big one, a big fish, I take the rod button and I stick it right there as I'm reeling in a big fish. I stick it on the hard part of the belt. Hint, hint to a lot of fishermen or wannabe fishermen. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of wannabe fishermen out there, but they don't know over time that us fishermen, 
we wear a tough ass belt because you want to be able to put the rod right on your hip. So, there we go. It's not going anywhere. It's nice and sort of small, kind of obtrusive here, non-obtrusive. Pull it out, bam. Cut some line. The whole idea about the Moore sheets is they fall right into place. Pull it out, boom, boom, cut, cut. Slit, oh yeah. Drop her in there, bam, hit her down. And I'm on my way. Now I got not only several of these, EDC, everyday carry, right? I'm not a bush crafter, I'm not a whittler, I'm not none of that. I'm a need a knife and when I need it, I need it now. This now really makes me so happy. And like I said, you're gonna have to make your own because, you know, I don't really believe Mora is gonna get the god dang hint very soon. They don't seem to be getting the hint. Oh, they sell that little bullshitting on here. They sell that little belt loop leather thing. Come on. That is what we want in the United States of America, folks. That's what we want over there. Okay, Mora. When you make one that's like this, send one to me. I'll, I'll do a video about it. How about that? Now, I can actually use my Eldris the way I want to. That's my rant for the day. And breaking, what, I don't know, six bits. And just to put that on there took me probably like an hour and a half. But I got lucky, like I said, I got lucky. I looked through all my junk from all my other knives and I found a belt clip that really worked. This isn't really for, this video isn't really for my fishing subscribers, I guess you could say. So this is for the rest of the world. This is for you bush crafters, you whittlers, you Mora fans, you Eldris fans out there. One of the many videos about fixing Mora's goofiness.